Hi, and thank you for joining us for our first Kids' Own Storytime. In case you don't know us, I'm Rachel, and Kids' Own is a group for primary age children that meets every Thursday evening during term time at Wem Baptist Church. Sadly, because of the lockdown, we haven't been able to meet for several weeks and we're really missing getting together. So instead, we thought we'd put together some stories for you to listen to. They're read by some friends of ours who I think you might recognise. So gather around and get ready to listen. You might not think that there's very much to be thankful for at the moment. But as you listen to this story read by Robin, you'll hear about a small boy who couldn't wait to say thank you. Hello, I'm going to read to you from a book called Eric Gives Thanks. It is a story about a little boy called Eric who had breakfast one morning and he liked his toast so much he went on a spree of thanking people and it's all written in rhyme, in verse. And it goes like this. Eric woke one awesome morning and sat at the table stretching, yawning, as he tucked into his toasty bread. This brekkie is epic, Eric said. My taste buds are buzzing, my belly is blessed. I'm loving this loaf. Toast is the best. But who do I thank for this scrumptious treat? My mum, of course. Eric sprang to his feet. He ran to the kitchen and called to his mum. Thanks a gazillion, my brekkie was yum. His grateful smile was ten miles wide. Oh, Eric, that's sweet, his mum replied. But all I did was toast the bread. You should be thanking the baker instead. So out of the door with a hip and a hop, Eric popped out to the baker's shop. Hey, Mr Baker, I just came to say thanks for the loaf you made yesterday. You make the bestest bread on the planet. I tried to thank Mum. But she just wouldn't have it. She told me that you're the one to be praised, so three cheers for you. Hip, hip, hooray. That's kind, the baker began. But a fellow who fetches the flowers, your man. Without the flour, there'd be no bread. You should really be thanking him instead. His name is Dan. He drives a big van. I'm on it, said Eric, and off he ran. A short while later, Eric found Dan. He was taking a nap in the back of his van. He banged the window and shouted, Dan, you're the world's most epic delivery man. I'm loving the loaves the baker deals, but he couldn't do it without your wheels. You're welcome, dude, said Dan with a grin, but it's really the Millie you should be thanking. She grinds the grain that makes the flour to bake the bread that you devour. Quick as a flash, Eric dashed up the hill to thank the lady who worked at the mill. He knew he'd find her by the grinder and when he sat beside her, Thank you, Mrs Miller, he chimed. Your flour is epic, one of a kind. Oh dearie, it's my pleasure, of course, but it's not me who deserves your applause. Without the wheat, there would be no grinding. You should thank F- Farmer Pete if you can find him. So Eric legged it down to the farm. He looked in the fields and checked in the barn. Finally, he found him, working hard, fixing his tractor across the yard. Sorry to bother you, Farmer Pete, but I wanted to thank you for growing this wheat. Without the wheat, the miller could never grind the greatest flour ever. Then Dan, the fantastic delivery man, would have nothing to drop off in his van. Mr Baker could make no bread, so Mum would buy something else instead. And the ultimate tragedy would be, there'd be no tasty toast for me. Farmer Pete put down his spanner and replied to Eric in the gentlest manner. I'm grateful for your gratitude, plucky young fella, but I think there's something I need to tell you. Each day the sun rises way up high, giving light and heat from up in the sky. And 
See those clouds that are plump with rain? Soon they'll burst and water the grain. So as hard as I work to harvest the crop, your journey of thanks has one last stop. Eric looked up and then down at the grain. But who do I thank for sunshine and rain? The old farmer smiled and whispered, Let's look at what God says in his good book. And pulling a Bible from his dungarees, he thumbed a few pages, then started to read. Love the Lord, serve him heart and soul, for he sends the rain that makes grain grow. The little lad beamed as the farmer read it. I get it, yelled Eric. Let's give God the credit. So Eric paused and he closed his eyes. God, thanks for my epic adventure today and all of the people I met on the way. They all played their part in giving me toast. I thank them all, but I thank you the most. Amen. Thank you, Robin. That was Eric Says Thanks, written by Di Hankey, illustrated by Xavier Bonney and published by The Good Book Company. Now, here's a challenge. How many things can you think of to say thank you for today? What about saying thank you to some members of your family, like, thanks mum for that great dinner, or maybe thanks to your brother or sister for sharing something with you or helping you or just being kind? But before you go to bed tonight, don't forget to say thank you to God for all the good things that he gives to you. Well, that's the end of our first Kids Zone story time. Keep your eyes on Facebook and watch for us coming back with another story. Goodbye for now and God bless. Yes.